Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com, on Roku, Dwyer Boxing, and Sports News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. You know, I just stumbled upon a great interview. Uh, let me pub the uh, source for the interview. It's BleacherReport.com. Again, that's BleacherReport.com. Dot com. Let me just add that Bleacher Report's phone app for Android phones is really the best sports app that I know of. And I'm a sports app junkie, right? So I hope you give BleacherReport.com a look. They have an interview of one of the best guys in the world of boxing, right? He, to me, is the top shelf when it comes to analyzing fights. I enjoy this guy's work quite a bit. And, of course, the guy is a former champion boxer, and he's Paulie Malinaji, right? I encourage you to look at Malinaji interviews before fights because he's a very straight shooter. So straight that in the interview that I'm recommending here on BleacherReport.com, he claims that the three best welterweights in the world right now, right, are... Amir Khan, Kel Brook, and Keith Thurman, right? For those of you who might have forgotten, guys named Floyd Mayweather Jr. and Manny Pacquiao are also welterweights. What Paulie Malinaji is saying to you is that while Floyd and Manny are the biggest names at welterweight, they're not the best fighters at welterweight. Right now, let me agree and disagree with Paulie Malinashi. As I've said here many, many times, I believe Amir Khan gives Floyd Mayweather a much tougher fight, much tougher fight than Manny Pacquiao will. Right? First off, Amir Khan has a length dynamic. Right? Keep in mind, Amir Khan like Manny Pacquiao, has blistering hand speed. But Amir Khan has a length dynamic that Manny Pacquiao doesn't have, right? Pacquiao's shorter than Khan. When Pacquiao jumps in, he's going to be relatively close to Floyd Mayweather, right? I believe Pacquiao's southpaw stance might actually hurt him. Obviously, Floyd, who's unbeaten, has never lost to a southpaw. More importantly, that left hook of Floyd's lines up perfectly, right? If Manny jumps in, I read an article that Freddie Roach is trying to protect Manny from right-handed traps, like the one that dropped him, right, that was set by one Manuel Marquez. Well, understand, you need to be cognizant of Floyd's left hook, right? I don't view Pacquiao as defensively blessed. Now, with Amir Khan, you have length, and you have a much better, and I mean much better, jab than Manny Pacquiao has, right? If Amir Khan moves and fights the fight that he fought against Katelne, please just pull that up online, where he's sticking a jab and moving, right? If he fights the fight he fought, against Marcus Maidana, where he's sticking a jab and moving. That would cause Floyd all kinds of problems, right? So, count me among those who believes, and I've said this before, that Manny's not the toughest opponent for Floyd. I believe Amir Khan would be. Right? I'll agree, Amir Khan has looked bad in some fights. Right? The first Breeders Prescott fight's probably the worst he's looked at the gate. The Danny Garcia fight, he looks bad in that fight too. Right? After winning the first two rounds of that fight. But understand, Khan at his best, in my opinion, poses a challenge that Manny Pacquiao can't. Let's talk about Kel Brook. Now, longtime subscribers know that I'm still bothered by that machete attack. 
Kell Brook looked great against Jojo Dan, but I didn't see him moving that much. I believe Kell Brook is going to have to move more against Floyd Mayweather than he did against Jojo Dan. Right? Good luck staying in the pocket trying to deconstruct Floyd Mayweather. Right? Good luck with that. But here again, I feel Cal Brook would be a better opponent for Floyd than Manny. Right? Because he has quick hands. Because he has two hands. Right? He's not a jab, 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 big punch guy. He's a guy who can come in and just think about the possibilities. He can lead with either hand and throw power punches. Right? And of course, it's harder to counter. Floyd's a counter puncher. It's harder to counter short punches. Right? Kell Brook would be a problem for Floyd Mayweather. Keith Thurman is interesting. Because, let's face it, pound for pound, Keith Thurman is one of the hardest punchers in boxing. Right? I think Keith Thurman would give Mayweather all he can handle. Right? I'll say this, though, about Thurman. Let me break him off from the other two. The Julio Diaz fight's disturbing to me because I thought Julio Diaz was methodically outboxing Keith Thurman on the inside. Now, when you're fighting big punchers, you don't have a big margin for error. And Keith Thurman breaks Julio Diaz's rib. Okay, fair enough. But Diaz is really someone to look at. Because, of course, Diaz famously dropped Amir Khan. I think Diaz is a good person to look at to judge all of these guys' boxing skills. Right? Now, I agree with Paulie Malinaji that Khan and Kell Brook would be, in my opinion, right, bigger challenges for Floyd Mayweather than Manny Pacquiao, right? But here's where I disagree with Paulie. I don't think Khan, Brook, or Thurman has Mayweather's level of defense. I don't believe you can put anybody above Floyd Mayweather at this point, given the absurd CompuBox numbers of Mayweather's last few fights, given the fact that Mayweather typically wins fights by wide margins, right? And given that, quite frankly, Amir Khan has been knocked out before. Kell Brook is coming off a machete attack, right? I... I'm not sure if you could put either of those guys above Floyd Mayweather. Let's look at Keith Thurman for a moment. Apart from being outboxed on the inside by Julio Diaz, and let's face it, Diaz outboxed, you know, uh, Amir Khan for stretches of their fight, right? I would argue that the Keith Thurman fight against Robert the Ghost Guerrero was much closer than Guerrero's fight against Floyd Mayweather. So I personally still feel that Mayweather is the king, right? I can't put these three guys above Mayweather. I think Mayweather is the best pound for pound today in his late 30s, right? That's how I see it. But I'll concede, and I know people are going to say Dwyer's hating on Manny Pacquiao, etc. But I'll concede that I do view Pacquiao as a little bit more of a paper tiger, in other words, I do feel that Amir Khan and Kell Brook would give Floyd Mayweather a tougher fight than he's going to get from Manny Pacquiao. Now, all of that said, let me say I'm still licking my wounds from Gary Russell's deconstruction of Johnny Gonzalez. And understand, Gary Russell, like Pacquiao, is a southpaw with blinding hand speed. Floyd's going to be at risk early in his fight, just like Johnny Gonzalez was at risk um, against Gary Russell. Floyd's going to be at risk against Manny Pacquiao early in his fight, right? My point to you is simply, if Pacquiao doesn't catch Floyd early, like he caught Marquez the first time they fought, 
I believe Pacquiao's in for a very long night, just like he was, quite frankly, for Marquez fights three and four, right? I believe Pacquiao, if you figure out the angles, Pacquiao is hittable, right? And so let me just back up Pauly here. Khan, Brook, and Thurman belong in the conversation at 147. It's not about two super fighters, Mayweather and Pacquiao, and then the rest of the division, right? No, I believe young guys, the next generation, not the 30-somethings, but the 20-somethings belong in the conversation, right? But I'm not convinced that Khan, Brook, or Thurman beat Mayweather, although I am convinced that Khan and Cal Brook give Mayweather a tougher time than Manny Pacquiao. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online, BleacherReport.com, Pauli Malinaji. I encourage you to follow Malinaji's interviews, not just for this fight, but for other fights as well, because since Malinaji is now a boxing announcer, Right? He's actually involved in analyzing fights on an ongoing basis. Right, He certainly is not timid at all about analyzing the biggest fights, the biggest names, Mayweather, Pacquiao, Khan, Brook, and Thurman. Thanks for stopping by. Let me know your thoughts. I hope you leave them here in the comment section to this video. Let me point out, too, some people in the past have said, Hey, Dwyer, why have you deleted my comment? Just understand that my page is set up so other people can mark comments they feel are spam as spam. Okay, so I don't want people who support Manny Pacquiao in the Mayweather fight. And trust me, when you gamble, you know you're going to be wrong some days, right? Maybe I'm wrong about this fight. I don't want Pacquiao supporters to feel that I'm deleting their messages. I'm not. Sometimes I go in the spam folder and I will unspam Messages marked by other viewers as spam. Okay, so I hope even Pacquiao Nation out there feels free to leave their comments in the comment section to this video. Thanks for stopping by.